Hello students, today we are going to solve the NCRT based question answers of the chapter Adolescent's Puberty and Hormones. And uh, one very important thing that uh, like some school follows NCRT, some may be following some other books. Okay, so uh, the name of the chapter it is given different in all the different books. Like suppose take the example of uh, this one uh, NCRT. It is something like adolescence, the reaching to the age of adolescence. Okay, so uh, the name is different, but the contain. Okay, the thing which I am teaching over here will be same as it is given in the NCRT. So uh, the name of the chapter can be different from book to book. It may vary from book to book. Okay, so today we are going to solve the question answers which are first of all given in the NCRT, and then definitely we are going to solve some extra questions. So that it can increase your question solving capacity, your confidence and your doubts can be cleared. You know, if you solve more questions, then uh, automatically the confidence get built up and uh, like we can say that the chapter is totally covered from all the different angles. Okay. So first of all, when we talk about NCRT, I have got a lot many chalks in my hands, so I will keep few. So, uh, first question is what is the term used for secretions of endocrine glands responsible for change taking place in the body? I will repeat the question. We are talking about which question student in CERT. So, we are discussing over here NCERT questions. Okay, so in this I am I am reading first question. I have read actually I am repeating the first question. So it is like this what is the term used for secretion secretions of endocrine glands responsible for change taking place in the body. Okay, so they are asking about a term. Okay, what is that term which is used? for the secretion of endocrine glands. Now what are endocrine glands? We have discussed what are endocrine glands. There are certain glands in our body which secrete certain juices, isn't it? Which secrete certain chemicals. Now these glands are known as endocrine glands and these are ductless glands. So how the secretion reaches? The secretion or the chemical reaches directly, it get mixed up with the blood and it reaches to the organ where it has to be, okay, the target site. So what is the name of that substance, that chemical which is secreted? So the name of that substance or the chemical which is secreted from endocrine glands is what children? It is hormones, isn't it? So the term which can be used for the secretion of endocrine glands is what children? It is hormones. So it is question number 1. It is exercise, yes, no? Yes, it is exercise. In this question number 1, I can write here hormones. Okay, so the secretion, the chemical substance or the chemical which is secreted from the glands, which glands are in endocrine glands. The chemical which is secreted from the endocrine gland is known as what? It is known as hormones. What are hormones? These are the chemical substances which are secreted from the endocrine glands. And what are endocrine glands? These are the glands which do not have ducts or the ductless glands are known as endocrine glands. And these are what? This can be also known as ductless gland as they do not have ducts. So how the secretion, how the hormones are released? Hormones are released directly into the blood and it reaches to the target area. Okay. So the first question, first of all, we are talking about NCRT questions and in this we are solving exercise. Question number one was what is the name of the chemical which is secreted by the endocrine glands or the ductless gland? So the answer is hormones. Okay. Now we will move to the second one. Now what is the second question? Let me read the second question children. Now 
the second question is define adolescence ok what is the second question children define adolescence now we have discussed all these things in the chapter while discussing the chapter we read about the different stages of the growth is not it we read about the childhood hmm? uh, we read about the infancy first of all I should start with infancy ok then uh, as a child grows changes we, we discussed about so here they are talking they are asking what is adolescence so how can we define the question is what define adolescence so what is adolescence student the period of transition ok the period of, the period of transition from like from where children from childhood to adulthood is not it so how can we define this the period of transition the period of transition from childhood to adulthood is called adolescence is not it now one more thing children now I am saying what is adolescence so adolescence is a period of transition why is it period of transition because so many changes takes place in this stage is not it so what is there is it infancy period no ok here the changes develop like the you know we can say that the secondary sexual characteristics or the secondary uh, characteristics the sexual characteristics uh, can be uh, seen and we can say that it get developed is not it the sexual characteristics can like it gets developed in the boys and the girls the young boys and the young girls is not it a uh, lot of body changes lot of hormonal changes behavior changes all these changes can be seen in this period so what is this what is adolescent student it is a period of transition from childhood to the adulthood is not it now these changes are known as what children these are known as what adolescence is not it this period is known as adolescence and we can even write what we can write first of all I will write here complete here what it is adolescence ok now even I can write over here that body undergoes lot of changes ok body undergoes lot of changes which kind of changes is a body undergoes body undergoes lot of uh, you know the behavior and uh, the physical changes the changes which can be seen is not it the behavior changes the change in behavior is not it we have discussed what are the changes in the behavior is not it so I can even write over here that the period of transition from childhood to adulthood is called as adolescence the body the body undergoes many changes ok which kind of changes children it can be physical changes means the body changes the physical structure and also the behavioral changes ok and even the maturity we can say the sexual maturity is uh, like the child or the, the male or the female we are talking about they attain sexual maturity in this period is not it so this was about the second question now we will move towards the third question now what let us let me read what is the third question to run now this is a third question ok so ok so now this is what is menstruation and explain also ok what is menstruation and explain so uh, while discussing the topic we have discussed menstrual cycle also and what is it children 
as we all know that at the time of the birth okay we all know that at the time of the birth a girl child okay at the time of the birth even a girl child has got lot of what uh, immature eggs okay like uh, those eggs ovums okay are already present in the uh, ovaries but then what happens after these are immature isn't it these are not matured when so when is when it is going to get mature children it is going to get mature in the which age adolescence isn't it after getting puberty that's what we are talking about so uh, what will happen once uh, the after reaching to certain uh, age maybe 12 maybe 13 it differs from uh, you know person to person differs from female to female so after reaching to a particular age certain hormones are secreted okay the certain hormones get secreted and it get mixed up with the blood when these hormones are secreted and when this hormones get mixed up with the blood what happens the maturity of this ova the maturity of the eggs takes place are you getting me clear i am saying that during the uh, or i can say when a uh, baby when a girl child comes into this world at that time also uh, that child that baby girl has got lot of eggs immature ova in the ovaries but what is that that is immature so when it is going to get mature children it will be getting mature when certain hormones hmm when certain hormones get mixed up into the blood okay and when it is going to get mixed up after attaining certain uh, age maybe 12 and 13 okay then what happens the hormones are secreted these hormones get mixed up with our blood then blood uh, it will reach to the target area then what happens next now the ova start getting mature when this ova gets mature then what will happen at the same time the uh, like these mature ovas it is going to reach through oviduct okay through tube where it is going to reach it is going to reach to the uterus now uterus has to be ready in case if the fertilized egg come okay the uterus has to be ready in case if the fertilized egg egg uh, egg comes then that implantation takes place that means the zygote formation then further development takes place there and there then okay so that wall that soft lining lot of blood vessels has to be developed but now what happens children when the uh, now this this get mature so one one egg get released uh, monthly isn't it now when this ova mature one when it is getting released uh, monthly it is known as what ovulation isn't it now when it reaches to the uterus if it is fertilized then what will happen pregnancy will be there but when unfertilized when unfertilized egg or unfertilized ova reaches to the where it reaches to the uterus then what it is it is of no use isn't it then at the same time that lining that soft lining that's that uh, the blood vessels all these are of no use isn't it then it has to be thrown off so all these like the dead uh, cells i should say then the along with the blood and all these waste comes out to the vagina this is known as menstrual cycle it remains for 3 uh, to 4 days again varies from female to female okay now uh, in the uh like what is this this is known as menstrual cycle isn't it and when does it stop it stops actually when the uh uterus gets fertilized egg okay the pregnancy will be there during pregnancy menstrual cycle stops temporarily okay and when will it start it will again start as soon as a child takes birth again after some time the menstrual cycle will begin within 15 days or so or so menstrual cycle will begin now when it will stop uh, permanently menstrual cycle will stop permanently after reaching to a certain age maybe 40 maybe 45 again depending upon the 
uh, you know, it depends. It varies from person to person. From I'm talking about the females. It depends. It depends upon female to female. It varies from female to female. So, when the menstrual cycle stops temporary, why it will stop because of the pregnancy? And when it is going to stop permanently, children, it is going to stop permanently uh, after reaching a certain age, maybe 40, 45, depending upon like it vary. And this permanent uh, you know, stoppage, when the menstrual cycle stops permanently, then what it is known as children, then it is known as menopause, isn't it? So, uh, permanent when the menstrual cycle stops permanently, that, si that stage is known as menopause. So, for here now we have to write about the menstrual cycle. So, what is menstrual cycle actually? The removal of uh, blood along with certain other ways from the vagina. That is what menstrual cycle. Why it is coming out? Because the egg is not fertilized and so all these things uh, has to come out, has to be thrown out of the body. Okay. So, now we are talking about what children? We are talking about menstrual cycle. I will just write the answer now. So, the question is, question number is third children. Okay. So, if the ovum does not get fertilized, okay. If the ovum does not get fertilized, then the soft thick inner lining of the, now there is no place, I will move that side, okay. So, soft and thick lining of the uterus along with blood is released or thrown, it is not visible. out through vagina ok it continues for 3 to 4 days This is known as menstrual cycle, ok. When it will stop temporary? During pregnancy. It stops temporarily, but it stops permanently after reaching the age of 40 to 45, this is known as menopause, ok. Uh, we have discussed this thing in detail during the discussion of the question answers also. So, I hope uh, now this one is very very clear that ohm if it does not get fertilized it has to be thrown out along with the lining of the uterus ok. Uh, the soft lining which is developed why is it developed children? 
it is developed so that if it if in case the fertilized egg comes in, uh, in the uterus then the implantation takes place over there is not it. So, to supply nourish, nourishment all this uh, you know the, to give support nourishment this development takes place in the uterus, but if this egg is not fertilized ok then there is no use of all this. So, it has to be thrown out and this is known as menstrual cycle. Then we will reach we will talk about the next question children. Now, what is the next question? Uh, this one was question number 3. Now, we will talk about question number 4 list changes in the body that takes place at puberty ok. What is the question children? List changes in the body that takes place at the puberty. See we have discussed about the changes uh, which uh, takes place during puberty is not it. Uh, and we have discussed separately the male uh, the changes which are uh, there in the males and the changes which occurs in the females is not it. So, I will just uh, clean this please note this down and then I will be writing we will be discussing this answer and then I will be writing this answer. So, please note this and we will be discussing the next one. Now, we will talk about the next question now next question is question number 4th ok. So, we are talking about now question number 4th ok. So, what is question number 4 uh, list changes in the body that takes place at puberty I will repeat the question children we are talking about question number 4 and question number 4 is list changes in the body that takes place at the puberty. Now, if you remember we have discussed these changes and uh, changes uh, are little different in boys as well as in girls is not it. If we compare the changes in boys and girls uh, both undergoes lot of changes many changes there are certain changes which are uh, common, but there are different changes also which can be seen in different way. So, we will discuss uh, in a comparative way or maybe we will talk uh, first about the males and then we will about the we will be discussing about the females. So, first we are talking about the changes ok changes in males ok. So, we are oh ho just see my line. So, now we are talking about the changes in males ok. So, basically what are the changes children see uh, if we talk about males what are the changes beard ok. Uh, then moustaches will be there and the voice difference can be uh, now understood like you know either the say in childhood when the child speaks one cannot understand that the child is a girl or a boy is not it. But as the child goes uh, and comes in this phase when the child comes in adolescence phase ok. One can understand that the speaker is a male or a female, because the voice of the male is of low pitch is not it, it is of low pitch it is little thicker also. So, that difference can be understood. So, uh, the beard uh, moustaches and even the sound it is of low pitch these are the very uh, important characteristics which can be uh, observed in the males. Now, what are the other characteristics? Uh, so, the muscles become more developed ok the muscles get more developed and the uh, the shoulders become more broadened is not it. Uh, if you talk about if you see from the uh, like we know like so much of work the physical work ok. If you have to lift something you cannot lift it if you are a girl if the heavy things have to be lifted the girls cannot lift as um, better as the boys can do why because their muscles are more developed is not it. So, in boys what is happening the muscles become more developed the shoulders become broadened ok and then other certain characteristics are there sexual characteristics also get developed uh, like the development of the like you know the uh, presence of hair under the armpit and also in the uh, pubic region 
okay then along with this the hormone uh, is there now in the blood the testes has started secreting testosterone so because of that what is happening the sperms are uh, really uh, the sperms you know uh, are getting released so uh, all these things uh, can be seen in the uh, as a secondary sexual characteristics or can be seen all these changes are there during the puberty so we'll just write about the males so we are talking about changes in males okay so what is the first change children very basic change which is seen is what beard isn't it very basic change beard and what else children beard and mustaches gets developed or can be seen can be seen in males isn't it in males means what in the young boys isn't it so what we are discussing children we are talking about the characteristics we are talking about the features which is seen now in what in during the adolescence in the males okay there are certain changes certain features certain characteristic features certain development uh, takes place okay uh, so we are talking about the males specifically first of all that what are the changes which are there in the males okay so first is we are talking we are saying that beard and mustaches get developed in the males okay now what can be the second one okay what is the second one very basic voice becomes thick and low pitched isn't it the voice become low uh, miss uh, thick and low pitched now hair growth under uh, under the armpit and pubic region okay then what is the next one the muscles becomes now there is no place to write developed and shoulders becomes i am writing i am putting an arrow becomes what broaden okay so muscles becomes developed and shoulders become what broaden okay now what is the next one children this one is what uh, this one is fourth one so now what is the fifth one i should not write here because we'll be writing about the females over here okay so these are the main characteristic feature which can be seen in the males okay along with this I'll, again i can write increase in weight height okay increase in weight and height now uh, what are the other changes the sperms the production of the sperms isn't it the testosterone get developed and the sperm production starts so there is no place to write children mm, i'll just put six point here sperm production okay so these are the changes which can be seen in the males okay now what are the changes if we talk about the changes in the females okay so what are the different changes which can be seen in the female just will uh 
Now talk about females. Okay, relate little bit. So, voice. If we talk about voice, is high pitched, isn't it? Voice is high pitched. We can understand that the person who is talking is a girl, isn't it? Because the pitch is quite high. Okay. Now, hair growth. under arm and pubic region okay <clears throat> okay now what is the third one children uh, menstrual cycle starts Ovum get developed or developed means what children mature. Now again increase in height and weight. then hips part become broaden and fat deposition takes place over there isn't it now acne and pimples this is a common one acne pimples get developed or can be seen Okay, so we are talking about the changes which is uh, there which can be seen in the males and the females. Okay, so now when we talk about the males what are the changes children? Beard and the moustaches can be seen. Okay, then the voice, voice become what? It is thick and low pitch. Then hair growth under the arms. And also in the pubic region, then muscles become broader. Okay, so what are the changes? Muscles become broader, shoulders become thick, and what? Like, uh, see, uh, there are these two features are very common in males and females, like increase in height and weight, isn't it? Both males and females they increase uh, height-wise also, and they gain they gain uh, weight also. And uh, even the problem of acne or the pimple can be seen in both males and females. Okay, and the behavioral changes also can be marked in both. Okay, now when we talk about females, then the voice is what high pitched. We can understand the 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 that softness is there in the pitch, uh, the uh, in the voice, isn't it? Then hair growth. Uh, this one is again common. Then menstrual cycle begins in the female. That means what is happening, children? The ovum are getting mature, and uh, if it is not fertilized, it gets it is it is uh, getting what removed. It is removed out from the body. That is menstrual cycle. Then increase in height and weight. Then hips part become little broad. The fat get deposited in pelvic region. Okay, and acne and pimples, as I discussed, can be seen in both. So these are the changes which can be seen in the males and the females. Now this was our question number fourth that described the changes which can be observed or can be seen during the puberty. So these are the changes which can be seen in the males and the females during this stage. Okay. Now we'll move to the next question. The next question is question number fifth. Before I proceed, please uh, just note it down so that I can wrap and we can proceed to the next question.